quarter after five. Uh, got a pretty big climb in front of me. And we're going to climb in for the first, I think, four miles. I just wanted to get out of camp pretty early. Some dead fall and it was pretty windy this morning. I heard a few branches, so. Um, I intend to go to the camp ground today. Pack saddle, I think it's called. However, there's a lake like two miles past that. And if I do that, well, there's two things. Like if I go to pack saddle, it's a car camping campground. So I could get some food, maybe from some kind car campers. Uh, Cause I am pretty hungry. And uh, then uh, the other thing is if I go to the lake, um, maybe it's a nice enough lake to go swimming and could rinse a few things out. And the other plus of two more miles today. We're just gonna see though, I'm not gonna push myself. Um, is the, um, that'll be two miles less tomorrow. <coughs> Going into Sierra City, and I'd only have like 10 miles to get into Sierra City. Hopefully, could do that by noon, and possibly get me a place to stay in Sierra City for at least one night. Um, and tomorrow's Fourth of July, or day after tomorrow's Fourth of July. So I don't know. I'm debating because well, I'm getting ready to go uphill when we finish this. Um, because I'm debating, because, uh, if I go into Truckee in 42 miles, I have to really take a day off, because I've got some things to do, so, I'm not too sure I want to take two, uh, days off like that, almost back to back, so, um, I don't know, I need to sit down and look at my timeline, um, the section that I skipped way back at Syed, um, I may just end up leaving that for next year, uh, just because that I would have to find some sort of transportation to get up there and do it and get back, transportation to get back, and I just think I'm just going to go south into the Sierra, but I'm going to talk to some people when I get to Truckee uh, to see what the Sierra is like right now. Um, as far as water levels in the rivers, all that, see if it's prime, opportune time for me to go in or not, um, because we hit that pretty much right after Truckee. So, okay, let's get this day started. Running into a few snow fields here. Uh, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do, but I can see after this one there's one other. I think I can maybe get up through the trees and get around this one. All right, I was able to get around the other one. Uh, for the most part, I went up and around it and just stepped back down on it. This one is a little bigger. And there's probably not much going around it, but I do see boot tracks, so maybe that's not all bad. And there's boot track going across it right there. All right, successfully made it across um, three or four snow fields. No micro spikes, boot track cut in. So it was a little easier, but I don't have much experience in it. So at first I get a little nervous about it, um, but it feels okay. So, all right. Um, I don't know if this is the snow that I was going to have to deal with on the way to Sierra City or not, but um, if it was, it's done. If not, well, we'll take it when we get here. I still have my micro spikes. All right, this one's going to take a little bit more. That 
is what is referred to as a snow bridge right there and it's melting so um have to be very careful going across that because uh it can be dangerous and break through hopefully it's solid enough that it won't but i see that's where the boot track is Ooh, that was a little nerve-wracking. It's only maybe five inches thick in one place. Ooh. That'll get your heart rate started in the morning. A view this morning and I'm pretty sure that's Mount Lassen. I'm gonna try to zoom in. That far mountain you can kind of see the shadow of. It's probably been a week or two, let's see, more than a week ago. It's hard to believe we covered that many miles, but didn't take the straight path either. It was meandering on these mountains. See you this morning. <sighs> Top of the climb. Whoo. Feels good. I'm gonna take a break now. Oh, there's one way to get around things. Um, I'm actually like on a looks like an old road bed or something. Uh, the trail is just above me. I can see it up there, um, but there was a bunch of big, huge snow fields, and it looks like this is going to intersect right up into the trail, so don't know if it'll all be this easy to get around, but this works for now. If you'll notice in these woods, a lot of the trunks are bent, and they're all bent kind of in the same direction. And so this is a little older forest, and very dense, but I know from smaller, um, younger forest, you can see this, and it's evident because there's a lot of snow, I guess, pushes the trees in one certain direction, and so they grow like that. I've reached the tricky little traverse so you can go above this it's a lot of snow I can see a trail like over there um, but it does look like maybe I can get around this I'm making my way across the top of this ridge to get around this traverse. Wow. Not only is the snow pretty deep, I mean like, I don't know, 30 feet deep probably, but this view, beautiful. Those pretty lakes. Pretty sure that's the snowfield they were talking about. Yeah, if you slipped, 
you weren't stopping till you hit trees and rocks and everything else. So it wasn't bad. Uh, wasn't a bad traverse. You know, it just got like a little bit left. But you just had to go up and around. All the dread I've had for days and actually heard about this for a while. It's almost over. Got two little snow patches that I can see right here. And I'll uh, just be careful. Well, I guess it's not over yet. Yep. Right in front of me. Uh, see some footsteps around. I'll try. If not, I can always turn back and get back up on the ridge. Ooh, it's a little mushy. All right, I came straight up it, and I honestly don't know where the trail is at this point. I think I see some boot track. I'm gonna check gut hooks and see if it's off this side. Pretty sure we're through the snow, the big traverse. Whoa, look at these views. And if I'm not mistaken, that's called the Sierra Butte. Well, not done with the snow yet. It's a pretty obvious path. Everybody's kind of bypassed everything, though. That is pretty. I kind of want to say that um, I don't have much experience with snow and of course anytime that you have to experience something uh, on your own or with, with you know no one to rely on except yourself and you're not sure uh, your limit, your skill level or whatever. Um, after you accomplish it, it does give you quite the sense of, uh, I don't know, I just feel more confident now. Um, I know there will be some snow in the Sierra that I'll have to deal with, and um, I haven't used my micro spikes uh, in those conditions, and we've avoided the snow up until this point, so I know there will probably be some high passes that I'm going to have to deal with and stuff uh, where I'll actually have to deal with snow. But for now, I feel a little bit more confident. Just that fear of unknown uh, can play in your mind. And hopefully that doesn't happen again. Hopefully I can go into things a little bit more confident um, and know that I can do it. Um, but, you know, you backpack for many, many years and you just get into a different environment altogether and um, for me you know in any new environment it's it's different something I'm not comfortable with um, but I'm still gonna push through so anyway get out there and adventure even if you're scared not sure what kind of aircraft that is but it is big and it's been flying around this little part of the range for the last few minutes. It's a big one. These trees are amazing. Just huge. Not far now, we're almost to Upper Tamarack Lake. 
where I am going to be sleeping tonight. I'm jumping in a nice mountain lake as soon as I get there. This is the end of the day recap. Uh, had a great day today. Um, ended up hitting that quarter mile um, snow field and had to just navigate up above it. That was the biggest highlight. I've been kind of hearing about it for you know weeks and um, past couple days running into people that told me about it but I intended to go to Pack Saddle Campground which I did. I stopped there and threw away a bunch of trash but this is Upper Tamarack Lake and probably one of the prettiest places I've ever set my tent up. <laughs> when I got here I was burning up and all I could think about for that last two miles was jumping in this lake and it is amazing. I got all the stuff out of my pockets and walked down to the lake, kind of waited around a minute and then it just took me no time. I was right in it swimming and I felt good to have the salt off my skin and um, kind of freshen my clothes up a little bit which I have up drying across the uh, trail over there on some bushes but um, got my tent set up dinner is kind of cooking and um, just want to do my end of the day recap right here um, it's amazing had a great day this is what the PCT for me is is places like this that I get to experience after a really long hard day it was about 19 miles but anyway that is all I've got going into Sierra City tomorrow only have about 10 miles till I get there it may take tomorrow off well I will take tomorrow off but July 4th is the following day so I may take a zero if I can find accommodations in Sierra City but anyway guys this is my place for tonight I am so happy I'm here but we will see you on trail in the morning Tell me what you find when you find it Will it be worth the wait? Look in the corners of your mind and unwind it Leave all the rest to fate Cause you threw out the map long ago now, didn't you? It's uncharted land from here And you always liked it like that now, didn't you? It's better when things are unclear Cause now it's your discovery The rest is your discovery Now it's your discovery